She be better called. No wins at the world in continental opera to our family leagues at the moment. Brazil. He's going for his Douglas first medal, 19 years old. His opposition, though, twice world champion Douglas Bruce of Brazil, 32 years old. He was also a silver medalist and a bronze medalist at world level. Hugely experienced, four times continental champion. And he's won three Karate One Premier Leagues, including a bronze medal in Rabat. I keep saying that. I'm, I'm, we're in Rabat. <laughs> I'm in Rotterdam this year. Uh, he also had a... A win in Paris. He took a second place. Again, Kamatsu from interest. Japan, the referee. <laughs> Douglas Bruce in the blue. As we get underway with this three minute match. Bronze medal, minus 60 kilograms. So this time now, Bose is the one that's coming out, just teasing and initiating the movements. Trying to tease him out. Well, Shimir Bekov, although he's only 19, he has done really well even to get into a bronze medal challenge against a double world champion, Douglas Bruce. Bruce goes low, but falls to the side. So he can't meet the criteria to score. And that little hook would have unsettled Bruce just a slight slightly knowing that there's a consequence if you miss <coughs> I'm sure he's back on task Simir Bekov in raid for Kazakhstan trying to find a way to open a score against Douglas Bruce but the uh, referee not satisfied with the level of engagement here, and it is a passivity warning category <coughs> to Chikoku for each of the athletes. I think the Senchu has increased the amount of passivities in that first oh, yes. section. No doubt about that. No doubt whatsoever. Because it's effectively two points, isn't it, William? Absolutely. And uh, in a tight match, two points is, is very hard to achieve. It's so easy to receive a warning, particularly in Category 2. There's so many things that you can do to put yourself under pressure, but it's incredibly difficult to score a point. There are six things you have to get right to score a point. Including distance, vigorous application, Zanchin, proper timing, correct attitude. So many things have to be brought together to get onto that scoreboard. See, and again, this strategy of, of, of sitting back trying to take that point is not going to help you on, on the hand tie. Again, Bruce has, has taken the, mo the most risks at the moment. <laughs> He's very conscious of the fact that even if it goes to a Hante decision, the judges and the referee will have considered the whole match, not just the last few seconds. There's a Jordan Oramawashi there from Douglas Bruce. That's worth an appeal, I think. And there is an appeal from the judges, uh, from the uh, coach. One of the judges went for the Ippon. There's a challenge also from the coach of Shimir Bekov. Mm. And now it will be That's down to about. the sure about the uh, can't quite the counter see. challenge but can't quite see what was the consideration there but uh, the video review panel have rejected one of the challenges not quite sure which one they were referring to there but there are two challenges here one for the Oromowashi that's also been rejected I think he might have wasted a card there so both have lost their chances now. There are no more cards, no more challenges from the coaches. It's just down to the two athletes now. We're coming into the last 30 seconds. Bruce in blue. Shamir Bekov from Kazakhstan in red. Shamir 
Bekhov just motioning to the referee, indicating his foot pad had come loose. No problem. Match starts again. Whistle the there's a good Zuki that time from Douglas Bruce. 15 took advantage of the fact that that last 15 second whistle had gone to announce Ato Shibaraku. Referee just checking to see if the technique was too hard or whether it should score. And he's satisfied that it was a safe technique with the correct control. So is Douglas Bruce now, who has the Yuko score and the central advantage. And a desperation here now from Shimura Berkov. Yeah, mate. <laughs> I think, I think Bruce has got too much uh, experience now in this to hold this point. He knows that if he closes, that even if uh, red hits, uh, it's not going to be a point. Right. With three seconds, uh, Bruce can afford. Oh my word! That was a fabulous jumping, spinning Oromoachi. Well, I think that's what the crowd came to see. That's the one that. Uh, Fantastic. He, uh, beautiful technique. Beautiful spinning, jumping, spinning Oromoachi. And that's one of his signature moves. And, I think and the timing. The timing, absolutely perfect. Look, you see the delight on his coach's face oh, here. And the win, what a fabulous technique from double world champion, Douglas Bruce, Bruce with that uh, four points to zero score. Thank you very much indeed. I'll take home the bronze medal. And it just shows that the, the credibility of the champion, how important a bronze medal is to him. Absolutely. You know? and, uh, and that's, that's the definition of, of the champion. You know, it's a fight, you just want to win. You know, you, you, you get over the loss for the, you know, for the gold medal, you think, OK, I'm going to win this bronze. You know, and that's what champions do, you go for it. And he's just as hungry, just as hungry, and you can see in that exchange there, and he was, he's looking for the point all the time. There's the jump to oh, the my word, what a lovely, fabulous lovely. technique. What a show! Absolutely spectacular. Lovely to look at, look at the coach, he's yeah. Okay, right. we move on.